Imagine you are given this list of all the blocks in Minecraft, and it is your job to import this into Microsoft Excel. Now, your first idea may be to copy and paste this list into Excel. From there, you can move the cells around manually. However, there are 1068 lines of data, which will take many hours of work to do manually. And in the future, Mojang may add new blocks, which means more manual labour for you. So how can we resolve this issue in a clean, reproducible and versatile manner? The answer is automation. One of the best ways to import data into Excel is using a CSV text document. CSV stands for Comma Separated Value, and these files look like this. The commas separate the values into columns, whereas the line breaks separate the values into rows. Other than that, the CSV format is exactly the same as a regular text document, and therefore can be made within your usual ASCII text editor. Today, we're going to be using TextEdit for Mac. Now, let's look at the structure of the data we have been given. It's worth noting that the structure of the data is pretty uniform and consistent. This means we can automate it much more easily. In fact, if we just repeat the following sequence, delete, comma, command left, delete, delete, comma, command left, down, 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 we will eventually sort the data into a CSV format. So opening up Keyboard Maestro, we can see that this is exactly what I did. You can see the algorithm, delete, comma, command left, delete, delete, comma, command left, and then repeat the down arrow three times. And this is all to sort one packet of data into CSV format. Finally, I just need to repeat this macro until it goes through all the data. One can easily see that the data is split into three line components. So if I get the number of lines in the document and divide that number by three, I will get the total number of times I need to run this macro. Pulling everything together, we get this. Now, when this process is done, we can save it as a .csv file and import it into Excel with ease. Now, it's also important to note that this is not the most efficient way of doing this. It would be much more efficient to write a little program to do it for you in Python, for instance. However, this is nice, especially for beginners, because you can physically see what is happening to your document and should give you more of an idea of how the real programs work. And as always, thanks for watching.